Hi. Bye. Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Bearded Gamer, and today we shall be looking at the game Ashes of Creation. This is the version that they call Apocalypse. So, 11, 12, and 13th of January was the open beta, open alpha, beta, whatever, that everyone could play the game. They could, You could download the launcher for, create an account, play for free for three days. And this is, again, like last time, a battle royale version so they're still working on the combat system so the fact that they've had this issue going on for so long and they released the they opened up the servers of apocalypse twice means that they are either not very happy with the combat system at all and they're really trying to revamp it or or i don't know what to be honest the game sort of felt exactly the same like last time i i checked the the settings and the options and the loading times and everything and it didn't look like anything had changed to me so either they didn't change anything from last time or this was an open beta for everyone instead of people with that already had uh pre-purchased the package i guess so they had a wider pool of players so they can get more feedback maybe so if that's the case then okay that sounds fine they're trying to get the, make this game as good as humanly possible and again like i mentioned on, on a comment on their facebook page as, as someone everyone was complaining about something and i just replied that be thankful that whatever errors or bugs we're, we're getting at the moment for the game be happy that they're happening right now that's the reason they're releasing the game in parts so they can test everything step by step Make sure that whatever problems there are right now, they aren't going to be in the finished game when it releases. Uh, maybe end of this year, we'll have to wait and see. Other than that, they gave us the option. The only change that I actually noticed was that there was an option to play duo or team. What was it called? Team group, I think, something like that. And because I haven't, I don't have any people that I actually know in real life that are going to be playing the game or pre-purchased a package. I didn't have anyone on my friends list. So I couldn't, I don't know if that's even possible for now, to be honest. But I didn't have anyone to group up with. So I tried just queuing up for Duo. And I, I think I waited for something like seven minutes and uh, it didn't start. So either that's not enabled yet, you can pick it, but you can't queue for it. Or is there's not enough people queuing up for it. So it didn't find... Uh, someone to queue me up with and I tried the same with the group one where there's a bunch of people squad I think it's called squad where I don't know how many people uh, get grouped together actually maybe five that sounds a little reasonable I guess but again I waited for like 10 minutes in the queue and nothing so I just had to go solo two three four minutes waiting time and then you play uh, <laughs> breaking news I still suck because I didn't get any kills. I think I played like three or four games and I didn't get any kills. For some reason, the whole, if you hit the other guy, you actually hit him. And if you miss, you miss him. I keep on missing. I don't know. It doesn't look so difficult. For some reason, when I'm in front of the enemy, I press my mouse button. And for some reason, I swing my sword and I can't seem to actually hit them. I'm not sure if there's lag or if I'm just making up excuses because I suck. Either way, it <laughs> to me at least... It looks, it's more difficult than it looks to actually hit the enemy. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens with uh, with the lag and all that. Because, for example, crossbows. If crossbows are uh, hit, hit scan. If the crossbows are hit scan, you just click the mouse and instantly it hits where you're pointing at. And you're playing on servers that have 150 ping, which... I think it's something sort of normal for MMOs. You're going to have a problem because with hit scan weapons, with 150 ping, you can't really hit anything. It's very difficult. So we'll have to wait and see what happens on that front. There are a few dates that they have been released from uh, Interpret Studios as to when they're going to release some uh, other modes that people are going to be able to test. So Ashes of Creation Apocalypse, which is the version that's been released up to now, uh, we already tried the Battle Royale version. It was an open beta as well, so everyone could be uh, could join and play and um, you know try out the game for free. 
Uh, and now we're waiting on the next. So the next mode that they're going to release is Castle Siege mode. It's still Ashes of Creation Apocalypse and it's Castle Siege mode. And they haven't announced the date yet, so okay, I'm not going to give you some dates, I guess. But just something to look forward to. And the next after that is going to be somewhere near the end of March, which is the Horde mode. And uh, so it's end of March is that. So Castle Siege is going to be before that. So we're expecting it to be sometime February, maybe mid-February. We'll have to wait and see. If you know what Avengers of Creation is going to be about, uh, one big part of the game is going to be... Uh, attacking other cities so that's why they're going to be releasing uh castle siege mode castle siege mode is going to be a version of apocalypse that is meant to test the castle siege mode so they see about what they need to change if they need to change anything regarding the combat the mechanics uh they're going to be stress testing the servers to see if they can handle the amount of people it's going to be 200 players uh in castle siege Apparently, I'm not sure if there's going to be a limit when the game is released, but in this version that they're going to be releasing for testing, it's going to be a maximum of 200 players. So the, 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 the area, the castle that you're going to be attacking is pretty much completely destructible. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to be, if there's going to be smaller castles or checkpoints or whatever, but the point is one team defends with 100 people, the other team attacks, tries to destroy the castle. And Horde mode, which is going to be released end of March, is a mode where uh, there's going to be 50 players who are supposed to defend city against waves of incoming NPCs. This is something that I'm reading from the Ashes of Creation wiki. And so it's it's sort of like a, a, a tower defense game. So there's going to be waves of monsters. Apparently there's going to be player-controlled monsters as well, which sounds freaking awesome. So you're going to be in a group of 50 people. You're going to need to clear the monsters. Then there's a next wave and a next wave. I'm not sure in this beta phase if there's going to be a, a, a last wave that you need to clear and you win or something like that. Most probably, but we'll have to wait and see. But again, these are the two next phases of uh, the beta that they're going to be releasing. So they're testing each of the modes. This is a good sign. This means that they have at least the the basis of each mode and how they want it to work and now they're testing it so now they're testing what they've already created to see if it's good enough so they can make it better if necessary which is great i think this is a great thing more companies should do something like this they start creating a game and instead of just hyping people up with videos that are not gameplay for example and then releasing the game and it's nothing like you said pre-release what they're doing is, okay, people, this is our concept. This is what we want the game to be. These are the packages that you can pre-purchase if you want. And each step of the way, we're going to be showing you how the game is until that point. As in, no scripted stuff, just some popular YouTuber uh, live streaming, you know, a very early access uh, version of the game. Or, hey, open beta. Everyone get in. Play the game and give us your feedback, whether it's positive or negative, so we can fix it. That's basically what they're doing, and I have a lot of respect for what they're doing for Intrepid Studios. Good job. Good job. This is giving me a really good feeling that it's going to be an amazing game upon release because they're, they're trying to make sure that everything is working as intended, and they're not afraid to, to show people an unfinished product, knowing full well that they're going to be releasing some uh, negative feedback, which makes no sense because we all know that it's, this is an early alpha version of the game that they're releasing. It's an incomplete version to test specific things. It's so clear. I, uh, <laughs> we should be happy that they're doing this. So, Ashes of Creation Apocalypse. This is what we're getting for now. In the next two months, we're going to be getting two different modes. I don't know if it's going to be open betas or for just people who have pre-purchased a package from their site. We'll have to wait and see, but I'm super excited. And it's looking like it's going to be a, a game changer, like they're saying that it's going to be. So that's it for now. Woo! Oh, that was a mouthful. Okay, so that's going to be it for now, guys. Thank you all for watching. This is the Bearded Gamer. Over and out.